Okay, so do you know what? I'm first off. I'm going to say I've had so much fun working with this kit. I should have stopped playing on this today because I've got to start another project. But I had so much fun. I thought, no, I've got to. I've got to carry on. So listen, I'm going to do this quite quickly. I have been, as you can see, playing about with these lovely. This lovely. Um, Oh, I forgot what it's called. A beautiful bouquet um, frames and frames and stamp set. Look at those. Now, do you remember me saying about the that it being a very wedding theme colours, very wedding theme here? Honestly, these pan panels. Look at that. I I've used the papers from the. Um, the silver serviced um, card mix and this one was silver screen silver screen look at that it's such a lovely it's a glitter card but let me tell you how beautiful it is to work with and I, I've used the soft amethyst to accent that I have done a few projects I just wanted to show you how beautiful that looks right we're going to speed ahead I've also before I speed ahead Let's let's get one more that you can really see. I want you to really see the crackled effect on here. I've been using the mousse. Can you just see that crackled effect on it there? The the, the what's this one called? I've forgotten now. The water nymph is lovely. Uh, with the is this misted mauve? I think that was misted mauve. But I've been you know. Um, using stencils and moosing over now what i'm going to do is I, i'm going to come back once this is launched i'm going to come back and i'm going to do some card techniques with you then but i had to come and do this right so i've already done one project which is a valentine's theme i will show you that at the end so i thought to myself you know what we can do i will link the tutorial do you remember me saying to you these are going to make fantastic panels uh, fantastic boxes for your memory books so if you've got sort of a valentine's theme you know anything with hearts you can use that box for your memory books as well so using those panels there for two things i have used it for a table center arrangement for valentine's day but i thought right let's do this because this is workable so we're doing exactly the same so i'm going to link the tutorial we are using the same panels that we did for the hexagon boxes but we're only using two panels and two um, two panels for the lid. So two panels for the for the sides side panels, sorry, and two panels for the lids to make a square box. So it's exactly the same dimensions. Again, I will link it and I will do a more extended tutorial. But time is of the essence at the moment, my lovelies, uh, and I really want to get this tutorial done right. So with this one, you are going to need an eleven and a half centimetre by 11 and a half centimeter square. You're going to need two of those, right? Two of them. You're gonna to have to hand do them yourself unless you have a, an 11 and a half centimeter die. Um, I have used the panel, the, the inner panel for, for, of the frames to cut into here and make it like a see-through lid, okay? So, I've gone ahead, let's do our inside panels because you're going to see through the box. Now, in my tutorial, I show you the panels. There is two tutorials, one where I show you how to cut into the panels. We're doing exactly the same here. I will extend this tutorial, don't worry. But as you can see, we've cut, we've cut them with the, the inner die, the inner panel die on all of the, the sides. So we've, we've made sure they're nice and central and I've just popped some acetate on the front. This is the front, right? This is the inside. Now I've gone ahead and already put, placed two panels, two of which I've not paper pieced the flowers and two of which I have. One is for time, but to be honest with you, I actually quite like the idea that there's one knot one. Do you see what I mean? I think that's quite pretty. And when you see the candles, you'll understand why I've done this. Right, so let's take our, our, our bottom square, okay? You cannot put these panels in until you have erected the box because obviously the tabs go on at the side here and, and, and these just slightly oversit 
over the tabs so you you can't put those two panels in first but like i say i have gone ahead and put in those two remember this is the inside of the box right okay so I, i'm sorry if i'm flying through this tutorial but i promise you i will come back as soon as this the craft kit is is launched I will come back and do a few more tutorials with you, uh, especially with the cards. I, I have been, I really, I've really enjoyed playing about with this kit. Uh, again, I'm going to stress the colours in this are absolutely beautiful for weddings. You know, uh, they really, really are. That silver service paper pack, paper pad really it, it's lovely it's a really nice pad right i'm just going in i'm just going in and we're just going to oh i've got a bit a bit too much glue there let's get you gone mr glue a bit too much in the corner there right i'm just coming in and i'm just going to pop our panels onto the bottom of our, our box remember 11 and a half centimeter square is all you need right it's all you need. It's going to be perfect for the lid and the top. Now, I haven't, <laughs> I always say this, don't I? I haven't done this before. <laughs> so I hope this is going to work out okay because this is going to be one of my samples. And do you know what? I'm going to find it really difficult letting go of this. Wait till you see the candles. Oh, you know what? I was in the cheap shop, right? The one for the one that is that is one pound <laughs> I was in there and I saw these lovely candles and I thought oh you know battery operated ones and, and I thought oh you know what I've got to get those I thought they would make brilliant you know they would be brilliant for I'm going to show them at the end I, I'm not going to <laughs> I'm not going to tease you I'll show you at the end but I thought yes they're going to be perfect right let me get back to this with the tabs again i am i'm using wet glue and i would i would definitely use wet glue with this i've used a pearlescent card all the way round. okay so you really do have to use wet glue with this you you've got to you can't use tape because sometimes it just doesn't like it you know with the pearlescent it just really doesn't sometimes doesn't like it right i'm just going to get my hand in there i'm doing exactly the same with this as well like i did with the other boxes with the hexagon i'm just bringing this in okay uh, uh, sorry I'm, I'm, I'm doing it with the panels and then we're putting the panels up to the side afterwards okay so positioning it on the i'm just making sure i'm Getting getting this right, but just positioning it on onto the square at the bottom. Just making sure that's really neat and nice and tight at the bottom. There, let's just bring that in a little bit. Just bring that in and just push that down. Okay. So I am speedy Gonzalez a bit on this one. Okay. I'm going to try not to be too speedy Gonzalez on it, but. I do want to try and get this in this tutorial in. I think I've got a tiny little overhang on that. There, let me just check. That's fine. I'm just going to come in. I've got a tiny little overhang. It's just where I've not chopped it enough. So I'm just going to go in. Sorry. Otherwise, that will you know it will infuriate me. Otherwise, right. So we're now coming in on the panels. Can you see? what I'm doing with some glue and again I'm just running my finger all the way down the edge there just to make sure we get that all nice and wet with glue okay again this is this is not this is just why I thought you know what we can actually make we don't have to keep doing hexagons all the time we can actually make a really nice square box with this and again that you know the pan which you know the panels are going to fit so now you've got a couple of options, haven't you? Because you don't now don't have to have, you know, we used the ta tailored frames, didn't we, to make that. So I'm just squaring that right up, leveling it up quite neatly. And then I'm just going to run my finger through the inside. Actually, you can see I'm just running my 
finger through the inside there, okay? Sorry, just a bit of concentration. <laughs> um, yes, uh, you don't have to use the tailored frames. So you can still make these panels and, and just make yourself an 11 and a half centimeter hexagon, uh, square, not hexagon. Um, so we've now got, you know, two ways to make those boxes, doing, doing it the same way. So you're not ha even having to learn another technique. Let's just make sure that's got a nice bit of glue in it. You know, you're not have to, having to learn or do different measurements. Okay, we're just coming in. And we can make a square. So I'm so excited. I have really, you know what, I'm going to say it again. I have really enjoyed working with this kit. I really, I mean, obviously, because I was supposed to stop. I had a limit. My limit was to stop yesterday. But I move on to the next project. But I just couldn't put this down. I just really could not put this down at all. Now let's just see. Let's make sure that's nice and flat. Look at that. Isn't that pretty already? Okay, so we're now going to take our panels. Okay, before we do our lid, we're now going to take our panels and we are going to all prep today. We're going to pop those in first, right? We're going to, you know, pop them in. I, I know it's difficult doing it this way, but you have got the, you know, the, the tabs on each side of the box and you cannot put the, the the ones where the tabs fit on that side you cannot put them in first so it is a bit awkward and, and it was the same actually on the hexagon one I will show you that at the end but it was the same exactly the same way I had to do it on there because you can put you know you you can put the Let's just pop this in. You can put two of the panels on, but not the others. Okay, so I'm going in here and I have put wet glue. Okay, I've put wet glue and tape. And I'm just looking underneath. Again, it's not the best, but you are going to need wet glue and tape for that. Okay, you are going to need wet glue and tape. So you've got that little bit of a wiggle room. It's not that much of an issue. I don't know if you can see in there. Uh, can you see through there? Uh, there you go. You can just see through that, can't you? Uh, you know, you can get your hand in there anyway. That's what I was going to say. I, I'm I'm quite rushed today. <laughs> I'm flying through this tutorial, speeding through because I've got so much to tell you. Um, I I I also I. I haven't yet, but like I say, when it launches, as soon as it does launch, I'm going to do a, a few more tutorials. But if you just bring in a few other products with this, it will really add to it. Because I actually had some, some other embossing um, powders and tonic ones, which really do complement this. I mean, it, when I say complement it, I'll show you in a minute, they, they really do. And if you're, I'm just pop going in again. Oh, sounds like a helicopter going past. I don't know if you can hear that. Oh, uh, bring that back up. Okay. Um, yeah, if you just bring in a few extras, yes, now you, you can't put that in until now because of the tab. At, at the side so do it this way in fact probably best not to put too much on there really but do it that way okay so now you're you're going to think why is she decorating the inside well all will become apparent in a minute okay uh, shall we go with our outside panels next before we do our lid because our lid can be at the end right so now we're going to bring in oh you can see our outside panels okay and you are going to look in and think oh it's a bit strange that all become apparent this is these are going to be beautiful you know if if you're on if you're on a budget okay so let's say you're getting married right and, and you're on a bit of a budget these are going to be so good 
because you can make these lovely boxes for your table centres and you can, you know, when I say go to town, I mean you can really go to town with these. But when you see the Valentine box, if you imagine it for Christmas, you know, if you, not Christmas, if you imagine it for, for a wedding, then you'll, you'll understand what I mean. But these would make lovely table centres, okay? to really concentrate here to make sure this is going down that's just that's why we've got our wet glue right that's why we've got our wet glue so we're just i'm going to concentrate a bit here okay so we're just gonna i know this is um i mean you could have put your outside panels on actually you could have put the, the outside panels on yes for sure but I thought, you know what, let me come in and do it this way and then you can sort of see, you can see the whole box being put together. But you could have put your outside panels on before. I'm going to go in there and just push that on a bit more. Uh, yes, before you started decorating it. But, yeah, wait till you see the, the hexagon compared to the, this. It, they, they do look like very different boxes. Even though, let's just, I'm just making sure that nice and it's wet. Even though they are the same size, same panels, just one is a square and one is a hexagon, they do look slightly different. So I'm just leveling that up nicely, okay? And we're just push, pushing down. Yes, this one's got a little tiny bit of a, little tiny bit of a, because I had to see now what I did with these was I started working with the mousse, the crack, the crackled mousse and the misted mauve. I, I started working with those and I stenciled them. So I, I, I made a stencil with a 330 GSM, right? And then I got to oh, I'll tell you why I've done this I cut these down so you're probably wondering why they've got a square on them I actually cut these down separately and the reason being was uh, there's two things I would say with the with the stenciling that the problem was when I came to so I stenciled through with the mousse and then when I came to cut you know die cut the panel and the inside it kind of flattened it and I didn't want it flattened so in the end I I hand cut it out myself so that it didn't flatten so I think on reflection and I will have a look at this I promise when these are released um, like I say I will come back and we will do that I have run out of the mode but I can always order some more I can, I can always, I'm definitely ordering some more of that silver service paper pack because it's, it's really good. Um, yeah, it, so I used the 330 GSM to create a stencil and then obviously I, I got my spatula and, you know, spa, you know, um, you know took the mousse over the top of it. But then when I came to to put it through to cut it, it just flattened it out a bit. I mean, it doesn't, it depends. Do you know what? It actually depends what you're, you know, what look you're going for. If you're going for a look of it looking quite flat and then that's fine. But it, I think it's not so much with the, with the mousse. I didn't use it, the Mystic Mauve. I didn't use it as an expanding mousse. I just used it as a normal mousse. I didn't take my heat gun to it. Um, but the crackled mousse is lovely, you see, and I think it just, I don't know, I will have a, another look at that when we're playing with it again. But when I went to cut it, after I'd stenciled it, it just, it just went a bit flat. And um, I thought, hmm. So I will have another look at that, but I just love the colours. You know, the colours are just so beautiful. These, the mauve and the blue together. They are so lovely. Um, and then once you've got the candles in, I'm gonna see, but I know it's difficult to see on camera 
isn't it at the moment but you will see the you will see this so we've got our inner inner part decorated where are we where are we we've got our inner part where are we um that way let's do it that way so you can kind of see can you see let's see if you can turn that up can you see in there We'll see more once once the candle goes in. So that's our inner part decorated, okay? Now what I did was I took these little sort of tabs um, and where are we? Um, just used the stamp there and embossed them, okay? I, I, I embossed them on the stamp. And I thought as an added extra, because you can actually see in those, I thought we might stick those at the top and maybe add a ribbon around the top inside. But I will see, I, I will check with that. Right, now we are going um, in and making our lid. Now, do you see how quickly this one comes together? Because we haven't got six panels to decorate, we've only got four. This is a, uh, you know, it's, it's very easy to make, okay? And if you're only going to paper piece, if you're only going to paper piece um, the outsides, then you're only going to need four. Or if, if you decide that you only want to paper piece one of the flowers, like I've done on that one, then it's, it's not going to take you that much time at all to, to make one of these, okay? It, it really isn't. It, you, it's going to be very quick for you. Right, so remember with the lid, we want this as out to the, as, as tight up to the top as possible. Remembering that we are not putting our tabs on we're not doing that yet okay the tabs we're leaving until the end because we have to make some room on the top remember same ways as you would work with the tonic dies okay that's that's what we're doing here my lovelies so last panel so do you see this is much quicker but yeah if, if you're if you're just take like i say paper piecing a little part of it the flower which, which I've done on the inside, then, you know, it, it's not going to take you long at all. Now, the reason I've spent a week on this is because I have completely paper pieced the outside panels of the hexagon box, which I, I will show you in a minute. And that is why I've been a week at it. Uh, it's a lot of paper piecing, okay? A, a lot. But, I mean, you don't have to go the full hog. It, de it depends, really, doesn't it? It depends what what look it is what you're looking for but right so we're nearly there with the with the lid okay again i haven't done this <laughs> we will say a quick prayer i'm just gonna let this dry off a little bit okay just gonna let this really just dry in a bit and just make sure i've got this as out to the edge as i possibly can okay it's out to those sides so you can see, let's just leave that to dry, but you can see we're going to, I know I haven't, I haven't put that on yet. We're just going to wait for, for, for it to just dry up a bit. I'm just having a look at my, so this is how you can tell how much, you know, you have to leave on each side. And this is where I haven't made one of these, you know, haven't made a square one before. So we can, we can, it's not too bad. You're still going to need a little bit on each. Do you see what I mean? You're going to need a pinch. Where are we? A little pinch on that side. It's a little bit of extra room on each side, which once we've got our panels on. So let's leave that to dry. But this is the thing, okay? This is the thing and have a look at this. Now, I'm going to put a nice um, silver bit. I'm going to cut a 11 by 11 and put a nice silver piece in the bottom here as well to, to, to make that all nice and silver to match. Now, although you can't really see too much, you can see a little bit in there, that's what you get. So you can see completely in there, that way, there we go. You can see all those panels completely inside the box, right? Now, this is the beauty of it. Let me take those. You can fussy cut, okay? you can fussy cut all your pieces out, okay? You can fussy cut them. You don't just have to use that as a flat um, card or, or as it comes. Now, look at this. Look at that, everyone. Now, these were just cheap ones, but 
just cheap ones from the, from the shop that is a that is a, a quid but all i've done is just fussy cut that panel out and look it just doesn't it it just really adds to it and it's now all going to match right it's now all going to match but you can also paper piece Ooh. you can also fussy cut and paper piece right look is that that's just so pretty do you, do you see what i mean for a wedding i actually love this cut these this color combination together this silver gray is really in and and with the with the what's it called it's called the soft amethyst it's just so beautiful isn't it to, to be able to just paper piece that now i um i cut it out stuck it on first like that uh, where are we and then paper pieced it afterwards but it just looks so it just looks so regal doesn't it, it looks really regal and beautiful for, for table decorations so what we will do is once we've got our nice gray in there okay we're going to put one there there's actually three in a set there's actually a smaller one of these as well so although this is going to be extremely difficult for you to to, to see from the side now i'm going to have to tip this just so that you can kind of see can i show you yes i can show you it's very very difficult to sort of show you but you can see the panels in there, right? You can, where are we? It is very difficult, but do you see what I mean? It's all matching. I mean, when it's, when it's photographed, when it's photographed, you will, you know, you'll see and you'll think, oh, right. I mean, I'm just looking at that, to be honest with you. I'm thinking maybe we could just put one in there. I'm just looking at it. As, as it is thinking we could just put one in there but even more what you could do is I took the this was the rose set from the tonic um, our, our link it the, the tonic rose set and once you've got let's just pop that down once once I've got the um, uh, you know once you've got your silver in there you can just pop let's just Maybe we could, I think that really needs to go in the middle. I, I haven't decided how I want this because this is actually the first one I've done. But you could pop, oh, look at that. See, that would look beautiful with the rose kit. I know you can't see it from the side, but the point is when you see it from the side, you can, you can see in there. Right, let's just finish this lid off. You know, you can see it. But when, uh, once I send this off to tonic i'm sure they'll photograph it and then you'll and, and i'll obviously come off and photograph it as well um all ready to to put it out but it i can't tell you how pretty these look when you look at them from the side and you're looking in towards it it's just all matching <laughs> it's just a really really pretty idea i think and just fantastic for table centers even if it wasn't for a wedding christmas you know for anything you, you could really do these table centers for but those panels are fantastic they they really are it's like a little window it's just i, I love these I, I really do right let's just finish off this lid okay and then i will try and show you the hexagon and then i'll pop off okay i'm sorry if this is quite a rushed tutorial oh right i've literally got about three minutes i'm sorry this is so rushed but i i do i've got to be mindful because i have another couple of projects to to do and um it's all space i'm afraid it's all space I, i've got to be mindful of the space at the moment so right we just pop this so you can see it with the lid on but yeah just those added extras just those little added extras i'll have to clean off the a little bit of where are we Ooh, are you going to fit Oh, a little bit of a tight fit. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. Oh, a little bit. That's just, that's why we need to make sure that we can loosen it a little bit. 
just a little bit that's that's why it's always best when you're doing boxes like these to to do them when they're on the to, to put them together while they're on here do you know what i think see that one's quite tight but then we've got just one here that's a little bit looser but I, I don't want to make it too tight i really don't because otherwise it's not gonna it's gonna be a bit a little bit whiff so let's just pop that on there we go it is a little bit of a tight fit i think i'll tell you why i should have loosened it up a bit more on this side but do you see we're going to put some lovely panels on here possibly might even because you can't see at the top but I, I might put those panels on the front i think they will look much better but yes that is our it's a t lovely table centre and can you, you can really see inside, they're so difficult to show you, but I will photograph it, I will come back and photograph it, but yes, so so that is your, your um, bouquet, beautiful bouquet frames and stamp set, let me just bring you in the hexagon box and just show you, okay, so we've got the square, I might have to, I just don't want that to be too tight. It's a bit tight. A little bit tight on that, but it's fine. I will, I, I think, do you see what I mean? I've not, on this side, I've, I've loosened it a bit a bit too much, but I didn't loosen it enough on that side. Do you see, do you see I've hardly given a gap, so it would have been better if I would have gapped it on the other side. But, oh, my candle's fallen over. But here we go. So this is quickly the hexagon, right? So this is the tailored frame set again. I've used acetate. We've just cut down the outside frame. So you, you can see in there, I, I've put some flowers. I've still got a little bit more decoration to do on these. But look at this. Again, I haven't paper pieced these ones, but you could do that again on these ones if you wanted to. Unfortunately, time is of the essence here. You know, it, it, time really was of the essence, but here we go. And I, I've just cut out, so a nice bit of fussy cutting on these. And then if you look, all we've done, oh, so difficult to show you, is I've, I've just used the love and hugs inside. Let's see if you can see, it's very difficult to show you, isn't it? Because we've got a camera. I would, I would take a picture, but... That's, that's our inside uh, and we've decorated using just the love and hugs and there's a little heart um, next door to it. And, it, and again, I'll just pop those in there. You, you, you've got a really lovely table centre for Valentine's Day, right? And if you didn't want to use that for Valentine's Day, okay, let's just pop our lid on then you could have a lovely memory book in there, okay? You've got a lovely memory, you've got, this could make a really lovely memory book, which is completely see-through. See-through at the top, see-through at the sides. You know, that's gonna, dis I mean, this is more like a display box. This this really is. And, you know, um, I, I, I will photograph this. So those are our table centers. So you've got one for Valentine's Day, and you've got one here, which is again, very wedding-esque, beautiful, beautiful colors, really beautiful colors on these. Um, I will say one more thing before I go, because I'm rushing, and I promise I'll come back when it's launched, but I did have a little play about as well with, with the kit. So I, I did do some embossing, the thinking of you um, using, let's just see if you can see that, the silver, just want you to see that, look at that, that's the silver, classic silver embossing, um, the emboss, uh, embossing powder, and I just literally took a pad um, and just obviously, you know, went over it with the, I'll quickly tell you, clear mask, okay, it's the clear mask from Nuvo, so you're going to need some of that because you, that's not included. I will say an added extra as well, seeing as you're going to have to get the, if you don't have it, this is beautiful and, and it will go with your kit. I haven't used it yet, but I will when I come back. This is, oh, now she says, shimmering pearl. 
shimmering pearl and it will go perfectly with silver and and all these um, other colors okay so i will come back when it is launched and um I, I will extend this tutorial definitely let's turn this one on before we go i will extend this tutorial we've got a little bit more decorating to do my lovelies on these but very minimal it's all added extras i know it's difficult to see them but you will i, I will photograph them you see them properly okay um, so yes, just a little bit more decorating, added, uh, you know, added extras, you, you know, you can really add to these. And I will see you in my next tutorial, we we'll have another project coming up, um, but I, I will extend this as soon as they are launched. So yes, I've really, really enjoyed working with these. And again, beautiful for these table arrangements, the panels fit the, you know, these filigree panels really do fit it did it did i show you the actual panels let me just i just had a thought i know i'm rushing this but i didn't actually tell you let me just move these out again just to quickly show you it might be a bit difficult i have got the light on here but can you see it's very difficult in this light this is evening here but i have paper pieced all of this the only added extra i've used is red card so I have added red card. Other than that, everything um, is used. <clears throat> this was the sugar crystal glitter card. This was the Miri card that was in the silver service pack. We used the blue forest pearlescent card for the, for the flowers. And obviously, if you look just at the top, I've just used the vintage nouveau drops on there. So the only added extra to this one was the red card. Other than that, it is everything you get in the kit. Right. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next tutorial. Take care. Bye.